Example four, uh, we try to express the iterated integral uh, as a triple integral, and then we write this as an iterated integral in a different order. So how do we do this? Right. So we have this integral here. What's the order? The innermost integral is the integral with respect to e, and then um, the middle one is uh, with respect to y, and then later on with respect to x. But now we want to try to integrate first with respect to x, and then e, and then y. So we're going to change the order. Now, because this is not a rectangular box, you can just switch them and change the upper um, switch, just switch the upper and lower limit, like um, switch the places of the upper and lower. So um, we have to figure out uh, what to put for the upper and lower limit for the for the new integral when we try to switch the order. Okay. So what do we do here? Okay. Now this, uh, let's write down the solid over here. The solid e over here, this point here. The innermost integral is with respect to d, and d goes from 0 to y, so that means, so let's write it down. So we have d here is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. That corresponds to the innermost integral, so it goes from here, right? from that we know that. Okay? Now, after that, uh, we can also we can find out what happened to the y. The y over here go from zero to x squared. So y greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to x squared. And then finally, the x over here, the x go from zero to one. So x greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to one. So this is the solid. This is the solid E. Uh, what we're, are we going to do over here is we're going to switch the order okay, to do this. Now for this solid over here, we have this. Uh, if we want to switch the order, we need to, we want to project to uh, the coordinate plane to see the region. Okay? So we're going to project this E over here onto this onto this x, y plane. How do you project this onto the x, y plane? When you project this onto the x, y plane, uh, the z, the z could be any number, right? So we're going to have this. When you project to the x, y plane, this is the x, y plane. We're going to have x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1, and um, y is Greater equal to zero, less than or equal to x squared. Okay, we have this. Okay. And if we project to, if we project to the y z plane, then x could be any number. Then you will have this. So project to the y, uh, y z plane, you will have y is greater equal to zero, less than or equal to x squared, and z is between zero and one. So this is for the y z plane, project to the y z plane. And then finally, when you project to the x z plane, then you're going to have this one and this one. So you're going to have x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. z is between 0 and, well, well, because this is, uh, this is this was y here before, right? But it is on the x z plane. We try to express this in terms of x. Now, what we know over here, we know the y. We know this y here is less than or equal to x squared. So if z here is less than or equal to y, uh, we're going to replace this by x squared because y is less than or equal to x squared, so we have this. Now, after this, then we can look at the region, right? So this is a region that 
x between 0 and 1, y between 0 and x squared. And then this region here is y between, oh, and also over here, this one here is project onto the yg plane. So in terms of y and z, so the x squared over here, let's think about what this change to, okay? Uh, we know that the x here between 0 and 1, so x squared is less than or equal to 1. So I'm going to replace that by 1. So x between 0 and 1, and z between 0 and 1. So that will be this region here. And then the last one here is this region. X between 0 and 1, Z between 0 and X squared. Okay. Now, once you have this, then you'll be able to somehow put this three together and imagine this 3D object over here. Okay, so this is a 3D object for, for that, for the solid E. Okay. Now we can do the, now we can do the integral. Now, this one here says that asks you to integrate first with respect to x. So let's see. So that will be uh, x pi solid, right? So let's see what x here is bounded. bounded. Okay. So x is greater than or equal to what? Less than or equal to what? Okay. So let's think about the, the left side and the right side, right? So x is going to be from this, that was on the left, right? And then on the right, we'll have this one. So left over here, and then right over here. So x is between, what is x between? Now uh, you look at this projection on the x y plane, right? Y is less than or equal to x squared. Mm -hmm. Therefore, x is greater than or equal to square root of one. Okay. okay. So if you're looking at this on the x y plane, the left side over here will be will be this one. This is the left, and this is the right. And uh, for the left one, this one here is, is the one. X equal to square root of one. And for the right side, you're gonna have X equal to one. So you will have X is greater than equal to square root of Y and less than equal to one. So you see this? So the surface, on the left will be x equal to square root of 1. On the right, you have x equal to 1. So x is bounded by the two surface, two surfaces. So let's write it down. So square root of 1, less than equal to 1. So we figure out for x. Uh, the second one here is integral with respect to z. So we need to express z in terms of one variable, which will be the y, okay? So we're going to see how does the z here relate to the y. So we look at the yz plane. Okay? This is the yz plane over here. So you see that z here is between 0 and y, right? So you look at this region. This region is, uh, if you think about this as a type 1 region, then um, you see the z here is between 0 and 1. Okay. So z equal to 0 here is the, the one below. z equal to y is the one above. So for that region, we have z is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. Okay. And then finally, uh, we express the y. Okay. The y here will go from a constant to a constant. The constant here for this, you see the y go from 0 to 0 to 1. Okay. So now you have this. 
uh, so I copy over here. So y go from 0 to 1. Z go from 0 to y. So the solid here, uh, we'll express it this way. Okay. But remember, when we do the integral, the innermost integral, the upper and lower limit will involve at most two variables, right? So the, the innermost integral here, that's with respect to x first, right? x over here, go from square the y to 1. So you see the upper and lower limit here involve here involves just one variable. Okay, so it less than two variables, and then now we're going to integrate this with respect to y. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, z. And you see that z here go from zero to one. So zero to y. Finally. Integrated with respect to y, y go from 0 to 1. So by doing this, you have expressed the triple integral in a different order. The first with respect to x, z, and then with respect to y at the end. Okay. It's a little bit tricky to, to think about this. You have to look at the relation between x, y, and z. This is number four. Okay, the next one here, uh, we talk about this. Uh, we talk about the triple integral of one over a solid is equal to the random of the solid. Okay. So for example, this solid here is a z-time solid. This triple integral here represents this, the random of this solid uh, that lies between the two surfaces, u1 and u2. All right, any question over here so far? So let's look at example five. Let's take a look here. Uh, maybe I'll ask someone to read this. Okay, Liz, could you just read this sentence? Yes. Uh, sorry. Use a simple and we'll find the volume of the country. Please, Z bounded by the planes x plus 2y plus z is equal to 2. X is equal to two y, and x is equal to zero, and c is equal to two. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, so we have, okay, x plus two y plus z is this plane over here. Okay. Uh, x equal to two y is this plane over here. Uh, let me highlight it. So we have, so down here, this region, this one. And then, um, okay, so this region, he, uh, this plane over here is x equal to 2y, x equal to 0 is the yz plane, uh, z equal to 0 is the xy plane. Okay. So this is the tetrahedron, we try to find the value. Uh, we actually did this before, this a similar, similar kind of problem like this uh, using double integral, right? Now, uh, they ask you to use the triple integral. So how do we do it? Now, remember, we just talked about, if we try to find the random, right? Random is equal to the triple integral of one over the solid, right? Over the solid, solid E. Okay, so we're trying to find this. So we can actually, do a triple integral one over this solid in order to find the value. Okay. Now, when we do this, let's pick out, let's pick out uh, what type of solid you want to regard this as. What type of solid you want to regard this as? X type, Y type, Z type. This solid here is, well, looks like you have, you have, uh, this is kind of like the staining of the tetrahedron, right? And this is kind of like the floor of the tetrahedron. So you can think about this as a, as a D type solid, right? So you can think about it as a D type solid. So it's bounded above by the surface, by this surface, okay. this one, the pink one by that pink surface here. 
and bounded below by this orange surface. So the so orange one here is U1, okay, U1. And then above here, this is U2. Okay. So this is a D time solid. So we're going to regard this as a D time solid. Now we're going to integrate with respect to D first, right? Okay. So DZ. D go from what to what? Yeah, it go from zero, okay, and then all the way to what? So down here, you have D equal to zero because this is on the XY plane, right? This is zero. What about up here? To find a D, you have to, we got the equation for this plane, right? So we just need to express D in terms of X and Y, right? So what does D equal to? 2 minus X and then minus 2Y, right? Okay. So you see D go from go all the way to this. Okay. So this will, this is actually U2. So you have 2 minus X minus 2Y here for the upper limit. Okay. All right. Now after this, then we have to figure out, you're going to project this onto the xy plane because this is a z type you're going to project to the xy plane and you will see the region on the xy plane which is the triangle here uh, for this region it will be better to regard this as uh, what type what type of region type one or type two it will be easier to regard this as a uh, type, type one right type one region so it goes Mm -hmm. okay. So you will the middle integral will be d what d well it's bounded below by by this curve right this line right here and bounded above by this so it's a type one region so we we integrate with respect to what after uh, what what here d y right uh. Y go from what to what? Uh, you see that Y here equal to X over two, right? Uh, how did you get this? Because X is equal to two Y, so you will solve for Y, you get Y is X over two. Okay. Uh, for this one, you get, now what about this one? For this one over here, how did you get this one? Uh, because this is actually the intersection Intersection of the plane with the uh, intersection of this this pink pink uh, plane with the x y plane, right? So, how do you find the equation of this line right here? You're going to set z equal to zero, right? So we're going to set z equal to zero. So here, you set z equal to zero, then you'll get the this line over here, okay? Uh, setting z equal to zero, you actually get this. This one. Okay. X plus 2y equal to 2. Okay. And you do that, which is this one right here. Then you express the y here in terms of x. So y is 1 minus, so y is 1 minus x over 2. So we have this one. So after this, you will write down the the linear integration for this middle integral. So y go from, uh, what does y go from? From where to where? x over 2 to 1 minus x over 2. Yes, we got it. Okay. Then finally, then we will integrate and look at this region. Uh, x go from 0 to 1. So dx, x go from 0 to 1. Now, you validate this triple integral, you will get the value for the solid, okay? So remember, value equal to triple integral one over the solid. If you want to use triple integral to evaluate that. Uh, you can also use double integral, but it will be uh, as what you have done before, but this time we use triple integral, all right? So, question over here. If the density function of a solid that occupies the 
the region is this. Suppose this is a density function in unit mass per unit value uh, at any given point. What will be the mass? The giga with um, well, we know we know how to do that for the lamina, right? For being print. Okay. Now we have a similar formula for the mass. Okay, guess. So when we have the uh, being print at that time, we say that it's a double integral of the density over the region, right? But now we have a solid, so that will be the triple integral of what? The density, right? Triple integral of the density over the solid. So if you integrate the density function over the solid, you get the mass of the solid. Now what about moments? Uh, remember, we talked about moment before, right? Let's Maybe as a good review here, uh, let's relate this with what we have. So that will be the triple integral. If it's a moment with respect to the yg print, then this one here, you will have x times the density function. And then integrate this over the solid. So moment with respect to the moment about the yg plane is x times the density function here and then you integrate this with respect uh, integrate this over the solid okay and similar what about the moment about the x d plane everyone so that will be what y times right y times the density function and similar for the other one so that's in so that will be c Right, similar for the center mass. Okay, you can remember how do you calculate the center mass for uh for a uh, lamina, right? But now we have three dimensional uh solid. The the center mass, the x coordinate will be equal to well, will be equal to the moment, the moment about which coordinate plane. Yes, yes, the one. The one that without the x, okay? So it's the moment about the yg plane, and then um, you divide this by, divide by what? The mass, yes. Divide by the mass, divide by the mass. Uh, similarly, we can write out for this one, it's the moment with that to xg plane, about the xg plane, divide by the mass, and this one will be the moment about the xy plane, and then divide by the mass. 